Tens of thousands of students in southern Brazil have gone a month without seeing their classrooms. This after catastroph catastrophic floods submerged some schools and turned others into shelters. This is now raising concerns about their mental health. Out of Rio Grande do Sul states, more than 2,000 public schools, nearly a fifth, remain closed, affecting some 185,000 students. We have children who are completely traumatized. When it starts raining, they panic. We're going to be the emotional support for parents and students as soon as they get back for the 800, 700 students that we have. You don't have much space. If you fall, you have to get up quickly. That's life in education. Public education is full of challenges, not as big as this one. But there are a lot of challenges and I hope we can cope. In the northern part of state capital, Porto Alegre, near the Guaiba River, primary schools Brasilia remains partially underwater. Rains that started in late April have swollen several rivers and lakes in Brazil's southernmost state of Rio Grande do Sul to record highs, causing floods that killed at least 169 people and left more than 580,000 displaced. Brazilian President Lula da Silva has signed a provisional measure that provides financing credit lines for companies in Rio Grande do Sul state, parts of which have been underwater for a month. We are changing the paradigm to deal with climate problems in this country. From now on, not just in Rio Grande do Sul state, but in any region that has a climate problem, we will have to take special action, and that is why we are working on building an advanced plan so that we can try to prevent things happening in this country.